Good evening. A Democrats opened their national convention in Philadelphia today against a backdrop of protest and drama. Democratic Party Chair Deb Wasserman Schultz resigned under pressure after Russian hackers made public emails from top Democratic Party leaders. Those emails appeared to sabotage the Bernie Sanders campaign. This morning, Sanders supporters shouted down Wasserman Schultz at a delegate rally. Pat Kessler is monitoring all of the goings-ons in uh, Philadelphia. He joins us now. So, Pat, Bernie Sanders made an impassioned plea to Democrats tonight. Yeah, what a day and what a night. And this is only day one, a day of chaos and political intrigue worthy of a spy movie. Tonight, despite protest and tears from many of his supporters, Bernie Sanders endorsed Hillary Clinton. Any objective observer will conclude that based on her ideas and her leadership, Hillary Clinton must become the next president of the United States. Minnesotans played key convention roles tonight. Congressman Keith Ellison introduced Sanders. He was an early backer. And in a show of unity, Senator Al Franken teamed up with comedian Sarah Silverman. He's for Clinton. She was for Sanders till now. And a swipe at Trump. First Lady Michelle Obama said the Republican nominee is not qualified to be president. Don't let anyone ever tell you that this country isn't great. That somehow we need to make it great again. Because this right now is the greatest country on earth. Well, the First Lady represents only part of a Democratic arsenal expected to come out for Clinton this week. President Bill Clinton speaks tomorrow. President Obama and Vice President Biden on Wednesday. So after a turbulent day one, Democrats are trying to turn the corner. The Democratic National Committee issued a formal public apology to Senator Sanders and his supporters over the email hack. And the FBI is now investigating the security breach. Well, how about that? One day. I know. Well, you'd say turbulent. I mean, it was chaotic yeah, this afternoon. It really was. And it overshadowed the chaos the Democrats had just, uh, or the Republicans had a week ago in Cleveland. But all this uh, doesn't seem to be affecting Trump. Yeah, kind of interesting. Democrats woke up this morning to a shocker. Donald Trump got a convention bump. And the CBS News poll today shows Trump and Clinton tied at 42 percent. Now, we'll see what happens in a week. But that, I think, is a wake-up call for a lot of Democrats. This is not a gimme. What an interesting couple of weeks. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, Pat. Thank you.